Well, hello and welcome to Vod of Consciousness with Santier. And I'm Santier, and you can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash Santier. And I have no idea if this team build is going to be any good. Probably not. You will notice a couple of strange things. Uh, notably, I don't have an elite skill equipped, and I have two sickness of capture. That's because if I'm understanding things correctly, the thing that I'm about to do in this game is going to result in me encountering two different hammer elite skills. And it has multiple floor transition stuff, so I don't want to potentially... Oh, that's going to be annoying. Potentially lose access to, like, two skills uh, in the this process. So hopefully I'm understanding things correctly, and I'll end up with a, a couple of hammer elites by the end of things. Um, I'm not actually sure what the range of this is going to be. Huh. Okay, about that far. Um... Also, like I said, I'm doing a weird build. The idea is that we're going to be heavy energy denial. So, for example, I have these on me, um, which are kind of a strong combination. They're the same skill. They cause, whenever I'm hit with a melee attack, nearby enemies lose all adrenaline and um, some of their energy. And, like, that well decreases energy regeneration. Basically, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make it so that way enemies don't have any energy. And then, theoretically, the spirit is whenever their energy goes to zero, they take, what is that, 27 damage? I have no idea if this, this team composition is any good. Probably not. But I thought it would be an interesting experiment, nonetheless. So, here we are. Obviously, raptors are a bit annoying because they have an enchantment that causes block. Uh, but I don't expect a whole lot of that inside the thing. Huh. That range is not quite as long as I'd like the... Okay, so... Magrid. 15 second re cooldown, though. That's not too bad. It's just... How long does it take to activate? 3 seconds? Okay, so that's quicker than the 5 that a lot of the non-elite spirits take. It'll be okay. Um, the main point is not to kill people through having no energy and receiving damage on that. That is a secondary benefit. The main thing is it stops them from being able to do anything. Uh, it's kind of like a weird land destruction-y strategy would be in Magic the Gathering, basically. Um, right. So Gad says, this is the help you recruited, Livia? I'm not impressed. Uh, what does his voice sound like? That's too... whatever. Uh, so we can talk to her, and she says, The importance of this mission to the Shining Blade cannot be stressed enough. We must all make sacrifices. Finding Gad. The entrance to the Bloodstone Caves is sealed by mystic wards. Gad says he can open it with the proper inscriptions, which are tribal tattoos on the local Ettons. I don't know how he knows this, but I've learned to never doubt his word. You handle the easy part and kill the Ettons. I'll do the dirty work, collecting the inscriptions from their lifeless carcasses. Um, so at this point, we need to wander off again. And go find ourselves a, um, that's why. Go find ourselves this Etten, which I believe should have one of the elite skills that I want to capture, because it's a boss. And if, okay, we're going to fight these raptors. Um, yeah, critical defenses is the main issue here. Haha! -ha. But turns out that guy had weakness on him, which made my uh, auspicious blow unblockable. Or at least that's my interpretation of events. Uh, I don't know what Morbrin Lord of the Marsh has, but I'm pretty sure it is not one of the skills I'm looking for. I'm looking for a skill off of this inscribed Etten. Um... And I'd like to avoid fighting some of these Angorodons if I can. Not hauling around a minion train probably helps with that, actually. Fools, keep these creatures away from me. Can't you see I'm working here? Um, sure. Cool. Uh, here's Devastating Hammer. So that is one of them. Uh, this one's actually pretty good. It knocks down and inflicts weakness. Um, I'm going to leave it over there. I don't know. I don't have a good spot for it. This is going to result in me having more attack skills than I'd ordinarily want on a bar. Uh, 
Well, I can say this. Its health is draining rapidly. I do get a higher crit rate from Fear Me as well, so that's nice. Okay. Um, so at this point, we just... Oh, I've collected one of three. Okay, so I need to make my way this direction. Apparently, we need multiple inscriptions. That one wasn't enough. We're going to have to wander around this area a little bit. Shouldn't be too bad. I know I'm being more warrior than Paragon here, but oh well. <laughs> That's how it goes sometimes. When you're trying out weird builds. And things. Yeah. Um, It'd be interesting to see this from Margaret's point of view. Because she could see how often uh, the uh, damage thing is rocking. Which would be... A neat piece of information. Uh, well, I mean, that can get through. Assassins can be frustratingly durable sometimes. Actually, my impression is that the best soloing class these days is Assassin. It used to be like Monk or Necro or whatever. Uh, I need 55, but yeah, that's not the case anymore. Well, we're going to get some more practice against raptors, I guess. Hear me. Oh, my goodness. Look at all of those. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, she says, Gad works much better without hot monsters breathing, hot, hot monster breath on his neck. Protect us. Um, so, yeah, if Famine was down for that, which I don't think it was, they would have probably instantly exploded with how much they were losing energy from, um, uh, the, uh, enchantments on me that was serious energy loss they were just like oh that guy's a Jotun apparently they were just like all of their energy was just evaporating that was incredible like that's a situation where famine uh, being active is like going to just be a huge amount of DPS uh, but of course it requires the enemy to like ball up on one dude and try to wail on him and stuff I don't feel like trying to micromanage Margaret's use of uh, of that skill to when we're in battle. It's just, I wish the AI was better about that, of like not using it until we're in battle. But trying to micromanage that sounds like a giant pain in the rear end, so I'm not going to. The, re the cooldown's not too long after all. No, you sit down. I do like that they have this skill named after these guys. That's kind of cool. Twisting Jaws reminds me of the assassin uh, skill Twisting Fangs, which I think was intentional. It's a very powerful dual attack that inflicts bleed and deep wound. Uh, if I die, can't you do anything right? If I die, this will be. This will all be a waste. Annihilate those things. Let's see. This guy just has the exact same skills, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, we have all three inscriptions. Let's proceed to our next objective. Post haste. I don't know. I'm trying to mimic the are you bothering me type of voice line that the uh, Asura have. I feel like this could work reasonably well. Uh, the main thing is having famine up to get damage off. But otherwise, like even without it, like the enemies aren't going to be able to do much damage because they're going to have theoretically low energy. I don't know. 
I'm curious to see if I have enough. Yeah. Why are you bothering me? Okay, getting back to our inscription stone here. Inscription stone resonates with a quiet power. Uh, okay, and that updated the quest. Here's Gad. Uh, this is no time for shit chat. Make yourself useful and go kill something. Well, it took you long enough. Did you stop for lunch while out hunting? It will take just a moment to decode these arcane inscriptions. Then you may have the honor of escorting me into the depths to find the bloodstone. Now, be quiet, oaf. I require absolute silence. And Gad says, stay out of my way while I open the door, you knuckle-dragging oafs. Uh, obviously, he's not very polite. Uh, you have decoded the inscriptions for this magical door and opened the way to the bloodstone. Invoke the inscriptions when ready. Uh, examine the locket inscription? Yes. said and less he's not that bad he's very smart and doesn't let a minute go by without reminding you of it gad is pretty abrasive how did you end up working for him in the wake of the white mantle my home cry out is wrecked by civil war factions and sub factions are destroying our nation we are seeking new ways new legends new allies in order to tip the balance and finally bring peace and this cranky old Asura is a potential ally. Ha! All he cares about is his reputation. Tell me, how many of your people has he injured with his experiments? How many have quit? A few. But I've learned a great deal about necromancy in the short time I've known him. It's worth dealing with his temper and his demands. A small sacrifice for a greater good? We all make sacrifices. I would sacrifice ten times over if it would protect my people. Okay. So that brings us inside this dungeon, uh, finding the bloodstone. You'll notice that we have this effect, Aura of the Bloodstone. Uh, whenever a creature dies near the bloodstone, it heals all other nearby creatures for 20 health. Um, bloodstones all have effects. Each bloodstone has its own effect. We have to do destroy the inscribed sentries. He says, uh, there are more inscribed creatures ahead. You there, the tall one. Track them down and remove their inscriptions. I'll need those before we can delve deeper and locate the bloodstone. So, uh, that's kind of our objective. And he will tell you, like, which direction they're in and all that sort of business. Um... But yeah, we're going to have to deal with some spiders, apparently. Um, it says, feel that? No, you wouldn't. There's an inscribed creature southeast of us, but it's on the move. I'll repeat that in case you weren't listening. Southeast. So that's going to be that general direction. This area is kind of cool. It reminds me a little bit of the Ascalonian Catacombs, actually. Um, which I quite enjoy. Given how much time I've spent there. And all of that. Um, okay, well... I will say this party's doing a reasonably good job of killing enemies, so that's something I'm happy about. So there's our inscribed sentry. I want to go hunt that down. Um, I think it's... Yeah, it's the elite to the right. That you keep most. Well, these guys are going to be vaguely annoying. Yeah, they do that. So they do, they do a thing where they fly up and then after a bit drop back down. Like, if we wait here a moment, I think that guy will drop back down, because I don't think he died. Yeah. Knock him down, get him stay dead. 
The well is a well of weariness, by the way, that decreases energy regeneration for enemies that are in the area. I didn't mention that. I'm actually going to move Devastating Hammer that way. Um, and the reason is that I believe this guy has the uh, next elite that I want. You there, Shining Blade Girl. Extract this inscription. No, this guy has Devastating Hammer still. I don't know if it's this one or if it's a different one. but Because it's indicating that there's... Um, Livy says, of course, Gad. But remember, you can't do this alone. Um... It, there's an indication that there's some enemy in here that has uh, Backbreaker, which is the next elite that I want to capture. But there's not a real reason to... Um, or, like, I would rather use Devastating Hammer. Backbreaker um, costs a lot of adrenaline, and it has a very long knockdown period. Like, four seconds or something. But it um, costs more adrenaline and does not inflict weakness. And the weakness is build synergistics. So in general, I would call Devastating Hammer better. Uh, although that's, of course, a bit of a subjective uh, determination. These stairs really... Yeah, and like this piece here is also reminds me of the catacombs. Gad says, give me just a moment. This is so far beyond you, it would make your head spin. So the inscription works, and we're allowed through the portal. You're kind of a ruin to surrogate, it looks like. Uh, but we're trying to find the, the next... Or we're trying to find a bloodstone, so... Uh, they are kind of a big deal in... Guild Wars lore, actually. Uh, Gad says, there's an inscribed creature to the southeast again. If you know how to read a compass, look at the S and E and walk between them. That's southeast. Uh, these things spam disease, which is annoying. Dunkoro's getting wrecked, so I don't know what's going on over there. Uh, now I've got Shadow of Fear on me, which is making my attacks slow. It's annoying. Okay, I uh, got through that group. Okay, I mean, it has to be southeast because there's not really another direction to go, so it's not a very useful piece of instruction. Um, I'm trying to avoid the group, or the couple of Skelk over there. Um, well, I guess there's not really much of an option for that, is there? Balthazar's aura is an interesting choice. Not a good choice, mind you, but an interesting one. Uh, where are we at? Okay. Yeah. This dungeon will probably mean this episode goes a little bit longer, but that's okay. This isn't as long of a dungeon as Ula's Lab, I don't think. Although, maybe these Incubi will have a thing or two to say about that. Hmm. Man, Devastating Hammer is very strong skill. Actually, a lot of the hammer combos are just strong in general. Um, knockdown into a deep wound and stuff is a very strong sort of spiky combination, so... Yeah, then these guys use tainted flesh. Oh, that's interesting. Why'd that gain me two energy? Something that would No, but the effect is stronger now. It's forty health instead of twenty. Um 
I don't know. That's weird. Now I imagine the... We're getting close to the creature now. This one isn't moving. Perhaps it's guarding something. You go in first. Well, these guys don't have any energy. Not after what I was just seeing numbers-wise. Hopefully they're all just down and not, like, flying. So this is a room full of skeletal hounds, apparently. The thing about skeletal hounds is they look scary, but they love to use frenzy in my experience, so they tend to explode. Oh yeah, and all of those energy hits. They're going to be getting some serious damage spikes from those too, I bet. Get all of these undead bones? I don't know. It's interesting that I can see like two spirits of famine within sort of range. Um... So as I recall here, there's a lot of enemies that kind of like wake up. Also, these assets are um, like this is from the Domain of Anguish type areas. They certainly reused assets here, which is certainly reasonable as well, in my opinion. I would like this blind to be off of me. Oh, I mean, that works too. That definitely works. More blind. Oh, I'm in an eruption. Whatever. I'll stand here being sympathetic visage fodder. But once he dies, all of the um, other undead kind of go away. These inscriptions are fascinating. I wonder what created them. Okay, so this is the same set of skills. It doesn't matter, Necromancer. All that matters is that I'll figure them out. Um, yeah, we're going right through this. Maybe this last one will have it. Um, these, ins these inscriptions are interesting. No wonder no one else has gotten in here. They didn't have me. You can see the sort of attitude that our friend Gad here has. He has decipher inscriptions. Applies extraction inscriptions to doorways or whatever. Um, you can see that this is much shorter than Ula's lab, though. We're, this is the last floor. So we're getting close to being done. We need to go this way. We need to go this way, Santier. Stop being confused. Bunch of random junk in my inventory. I mean, that's what I expect, but... Yeah. Weakness is making that deal, like, no damage. Oh, Fear Me is at a threshold where when I have... Weakness decreases all of your attributes by one. So when that's on me, uh, Fear Me goes down low enough that it no longer uh, is, is effective. Gad says, the inscribed power emanating from this room is immense. We must mind our steps. Well, you should, as you'll be walking in front of me. After you. Um... This is not a very long room. The bloodstone's just right over there. You can recognize some of the um, Mersot-esque looking stuff that is often associated with bloodstones. Um, yeah, I don't have anything to say than that. Uh, Gad says, defeating this guardian will allow me to harness the bloodstone's full power. Well, what are you waiting for? Uh, okay, that's interesting. So, I believe we're going to get attacked by a lot of these enchanted shields and stuff. Um. Oh, Dervish, interesting. Hmm. 
Mm, blocks, blocks, blocks. Maybe you have to do this ordinary ways to get the other one. I mean, it's not a huge deal. But this one's clearly a necromancer, so I don't know what's up. before. You rush things and others pay the price. This is wrong. You're wrong. I refuse to be a part of this. I'm sorry. Fine. Run off and leave me with the dirty work. Everyone wants results, but no one wants to pay the price. So who do I have to kill to get some decent help around here? And that's Gad. Looks like the other elite that I wanted to, to capture was not actually there in that. But anyway, I will research that later. Whoops. Um, until next time, everyone. Take care. Goodbye. <laughs>